So over three months ago, right here in this video, I announced that I'm building a new SaaS. So I set myself a challenge. Instead of watching Netflix all day and being unproductive, I packed my laptop and I set myself a clear goal to make my first SaaS application in two weeks time. And after months of hard work, I'm finally excited to announce to hopefully a larger group of people that Scriptwriter, my startup, is launching today. But before we begin, let me give you a bit of context on the video title. So why am I battling OpenAI? Well, let me just show you how Scriptwriter works. So what you see right here is Scriptwriter Editor. On the right, you have the chat window and on the left, you've got a Notion-like editor, basically. And this should remind you of something. The OpenAI Canvas, which was released recently, is very similar to this. And they announced it right after I coded it, but I had to do a lot of polishing and connecting everything, so it looks just the way it looks and works as expected. And they were in front of me. They finished first, they finished their product, and unfortunately, yeah, it looks like I'm copying them, but, you know, I had this idea in my mind months before. Whoa, this guy sounds really, really sad. But I assure you, it's not the case. I think I built a cool thing. So uh, I want to show you the whole signup process, how the app works in action. So this is the full scriptwriter walkthrough. Oh, and I forgot, if you're not a content creator and you just clicked it to find out about the experience of building a thing like this. I talk all about it uh, later. There will be timestamps in the description if you want to skip around. First, let's connect your channel. I will connect mine. Then you can select your best videos that the AI will analyze. I will pick this one. It's my most viewed one. I also think this one is really good. And I think this one is also a great video. And this will teach the AI on the way you speak. And the AI will analyze it right here. It might take a while. You've got a sample script, your tone of content, and your speaking patterns, uh, which will be used to mimic your exact style. I will click Finish Setup. Now we can create a new script. For example, how to build a startup. We can choose a thumbnail and a unique perspective. Do it quick, do it for people. Create a new script. And now you've in the panel uh, have the ability to write and chat at the same time. So maybe let's ask the AI to generate an intro on how to build a startup. And this follows your style. I think it's okay for now. Maybe we can ask the AI to add a story into that. And you've got a revised version. That looks good. Let's also continue writing. And yeah, you can just uh, use the AI to write and fix. For example, we can ask it to add some humor. And you can also ask it to review your script right here. This will tell you what you've done wrong, what you can improve to make your script much more engaging, and it will bring more views to your channel, hopefully. There are a few tips that you can Implement, also good tip, just copy the suggestion and you can just edit it. And the AI will take care of your text and fix it in the way that it prompted you to do. You can also add tags, for example, startup to better filter your scripts in the future. And it appears in your dashboard you can also customize the channel settings in the settings panel and manage your account in the account panel. 
And that's it. I think it took a bit longer than 60 seconds, but these are the features of Scriptwriter and I hope you'll love it just as I do. I'm going to write every single script for YouTube uh, right now in my app. I was thinking about quitting because how am I going to compete with multi-billion dollar company uh, like OpenAI? But then I thought, well, lots of these small startups are making great money and still this is a huge opportunity for me to just learn how it's done and, you know, tackle real world problems and, you know, just get smacked in the face for the first time and realize that the real world is harsh and you cannot expect your idea to not be stolen or copied or implemented before you do. And yeah, it was a great learning experience. So I decided to go with it and now it's launch day. And yeah, I'm going to talk a bit why I made this choice and what I did to really make my app stand out as much as possible from what OpenAI came up with. So first thing that I did is I really niched this down. It's aimed mostly at YouTubers and a bit at script writers, but it's not optimized for teams yet. So it's more for people like me who are solo creators and they just write the scripts themselves. You know, I will be sure to receive multiple comments that, you know, you're talking about niches like all the other, you know, influencers, but still, this is a very important step because if you can narrow uh, down the amount of people that you can reach, you're much more likely to get uh, people that will be willing to buy what you're selling simply because it's tailored to them. If you compare this to the OpenAI solution, you don't have the Notion editor, you don't have the freedom to style it however you want. And I believe it's really important because I like to have clear sections and uh, I like to have these dividers in my scripts. So it's pretty important for me uh, to have this kind of freedom. And also you just have everything tailored in your style. If I ask the AI right here, what's my style? It knows how I speak. It's casual, educational and enthusiastic. And it knows the common phrases that I use. I think I should really stop saying, you know, that much <laughs> because the last video I made, I lost count of how many times I've said that, but still, you have the ability to review your scripts, to have your script uh, written in the same style as you do uh, speak. And it's just much more convenient because you don't have to paste in your own scripts to ChatGPT and make it learn over and over again in every new chat. You know, it's just right here, always at your disposal. Besides the amount of stuff that I've learned uh, over the past few months while coding this, it's just huge. I never imagined like a few years ago that I would be able to launch my own app in like a few months. And it's just incredible what you can achieve with AI and with consistent work. Uh, so I believe it was a good choice to just stick to it no matter what. And if I quit right away, who knows, maybe I wouldn't have decided to create another app and, you know, I would have picked something different to do. But instead I did and now I'm in this focus mode that I want to build things. And that's pretty much energizing. I'd love to make my first dollar with this, but even if I don't, I still know that I built a cool thing that I will be using myself and yeah, I wish I started documenting this uh, thing much earlier, but still I made a few videos on this and it grew my channel a bit. So hopefully you got something out of this series. I will still be posting about updates and what's going on with the app. If I get any new users or feedback 
And if you do have feedback for this, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but still, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you like it, even if you're not a creator, uh, just let me know what you think about this. And I will see you in the next one.